Hi guys, welcome to another American Crafts Design Team project. As you can probably tell from the intro photos, I'm super excited to finally share with you that American Crafts has come out with a new color pour line, which is a super easy way to introduce yourself into the art of paint pouring. So here I'm using the Cool Set, and this is turquoise, and I was showing you the box of the little mixing cups. So it makes it super easy. The paint is pre-mixed for pouring so it has a, a flow agent already pre-mixed and you don't have to worry about measuring and all that. And I'm using the turquoise, the cobalt, and the midnight. And there's also a gray in the cool set. So it comes with lots of uh, fun sets. There's a warm set, a cool set, and there's also some mix-ins. They have some gold foil and here I'm using the spice color that's from the warm set. Because I want to introduce really kind of a mid-century modern color scheme here. I've got the rust and blue. And I, the only thing I'm adding that's not in the kit from American Crafts is I'm adding white paint, a tiny bit of gold and black. So here I have the white paint in the bigger cup and I'm going to start pouring in the American Crafts pre-mixed paint. And we're just going to, now this is not an exact science, and I'm just going to drip different colors in in different ways so that I can get the look that I want. And they also have a product called Cell Magic, and that is the silicone oil that's going to produce the cells on your poured paint project. So I'm going to add a lot of the turquoise and blues and then a little bit of the spice. And a little bit of the black. The gold is a little bit thicker and I found with metallics they're heavier so they're going to flow to the bottom so I'm just going to do some drips on the top. I have a lot of white paint in this cup. It's more than almost about two-thirds of the way full with white because I know that white tends to go to the very bottom. So what I'm doing is just adding little drips and trying to decide how much color I want at, at each level and each layer. And I'm just making sure I'm getting the different colors in different areas. There we go. Oops, I dripped some off to the canvas, but that's okay because I'm going to spray the canvas with water just to help the paint flow to the edges there. And you want the paint at a consistency that it will run off the craft stick fairly quickly. See, I'm showing you how thin the paint is. You can see how quickly it runs off the craft stick. There you go. So I've got lots of really interesting colors in here. And I'm trying not to mix the blue and the orange at the same moment, like the cobalt blue and the orange. I'm keeping those separated with the turquoise and the gold and the black and the white, so. Because those are opposite on the color wheel, they will create a neutral. So I've almost used all of the Midnight, that's the darkest blue you get in the cool set from American Crafts. They have some interesting mix-ins. They have a silver stars and what looks like you could probably try to create a geode because it has like crystals and sapphire looking crystals. So that would be really pretty. But since this, this is only uh, my second attempt, I wanted to just keep it to the paint. And next time I, I really want to try some of the mix-ins though. So you can see I'm adding little little strands of the black because I don't want to overtake the white. I'm adding some the last of the midnight here. And then I'll have some paint left over so I can do some more canvases. I'm doing lots of the turquoise. Okay, so they call this a dirty pour, but it's also called a flip cup. Because we're putting all the paint in the one cup, we're going to turn it over and flip, and you'll see that in just a second. We're going to flip the cup over on the canvas. I'm moving the paints out of the way a little bit. It's 
So I'm going to take the canvas, put it on top of the cup, and then flip it over. We're going to let it sit here for a while just so the silicone has a chance to work with the paints. And you'll see, you can see in the cup how much white there is, how much white paint. So I'm spritzing the canvas with the just plain water to see if I can get it to flow. And any second now, I'm going to pick up that cup and you'll get to see the magic. This is really cool because no matter how many times you do the same colors, it always looks different. I did three canvases with the same color scheme and they all look completely different. So here we go and I'm kind of smushing. I really like the way that blue and white combine there to create almost a C. Oh, and there's the cells popping up. You can see the little circle cells. I'm just getting the edges, the very corners of the canvas wet with the paint so it'll flow over the edge. And now I'm going to tilt and the camera shuts off, but I do have some still shots for you at the end. I'm tilting and tilting and then you'll see how different it looks at the very end. There we go. There's the finished piece. It looks completely different from when I first started tilting it. And if you just let it sit, then all the cells will come to the surface. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye!